What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another MLB 21 The Show Diamond Dynasty video and we got a brand new player program today that you can earn a 99 overall all-star Ronald Acuna Jr. card. This is great and you can do it all for free. We're going to show you how to do it. Brand new all-star player program. Let's get right on to, to it. So here we go. This is how you do it. You're going to go to player programs like you do all the time in Diamond Dynasty. And normally we have, you know, these solid cards that are pretty good. But this time we got a real deal, like a really, really good card, end game card. And here it is. This is how you earn it. It's actually not that difficult. If you've already been grinding Team Affinity, you already have a really good jump start on it. So let's go ahead and show you how to do it. So the end goal here is the Acuna, right? 99 overall. Let's take a look at the attributes on the card. 93 contact against righties, 105 against lefties. Power, 115 against righties, 116 against lefties. 94 speed. He's got diamond hitting, diamond defense. Right fielder, he can play left and center as well. The only thing that's not great about this card is the vision being at 78, but otherwise this card is absolutely phenomenal in the versatility that he can play any spot in left field, right field, center field, uh, plus that 94 speed and those hitting stats. I mean, it's, it's a must-have card, and again, you can earn it for free. So 100 of these player program or uh, pro, uh, player tokens, whatever you want to call them, upgrade tokens, there are other awards as you gain these tokens, and the two that we need to point out here is that 30 tokens, you get yourself a home run derby pack. Now, it is a choice pack, and there's a chance that you could get one of these 99 or 98 overalls. Basically, the odds are you have the rare tier, the mid, and the base, the rare is going to be the 99 and 98, the mid is going to be the 297s, and the base is 95. The odds on there, it's going to be one out of one. It's guaranteed you're going to get at least the base, one out of four for the mid, one out of the 10 for the rare. But the good thing is this should drive prices down on the marketplace if you still need to buy these cards. And then at 50 tokens, you get a all-star game pack. Same odds, base one to one, mid one to four, and rare one to 10. And here are the cards. The, the rares are the 99s, okay? So Freddie Peralta and, and Vlad Jr. The mid are the 98s, JT, Lance Lynn. And then the low or base is, is Bogarts and Liam Hendricks. So you can still get these cards. Now, why is this important? I'm gonna back up a little bit here because those home run derby cards, the all-star game cards, all of the cards you've been earning from Team Affinity, all of these cards, right? All 30 of them, you're gonna need them to earn additional upgrade tokens for the Okunia Jr. Because not only are they gonna help you out with this card, but we've been talking about it all week, there's a 99 overall Otani card that you can earn from an additional collection. So these all kind of go hand in hand. If you go over to your collections here and go to the All-Star Game collection, well, some of these home run derby cards and all-star cards got pretty expensive, right? But now that this pack is out there, that might make them a little bit cheaper. And for anybody who has exhausted the packs like I have, you know, I bought all five of the all-star, all five of the home run derby. It's good that I'm going to get one more pack of each because it's going to help me towards the 46 cards that I need for this show Otani card, this 99 overall. So once you get a, you know, a nice amount of these cards, I'm going to show you what you can do here. And if you don't have them, the number one here is you really need to get out and be grinding team affinity because you're going to need to do that to get this Acuna Jr. program done. So going back over to it, here are the other ways that you can earn these 100 tokens to get all of these awards or rewards, I should say, plus the 99 overall. So there, I'm going to skip over missions for a moment. There are moments here, and I believe there are 10 total. They all earn you three tokens. So if I'm good at math here, 10 times three is 30. If you do all of the moments, you got yourself 30 of the 100 tokens that you need, okay? So that's going to get you at least that one pack, the home run derby pack. Then, if we go down to collections, you need to collect 30 all-star flashback cards. That's going to give you another 30 tokens. So that could potentially have you at 60. And if I go through all of these, I believe the only cards that are in here are the Team Affinity cards. So, in other words, you don't have to get all of the Team Affinity done. But it's almost one third of the progress is going to be completed by finishing Team Affinity. So it's going to be more, more beneficial to you. As you can see, I have what, three, seven, ten. I have ten more to go. I have, you know, I'm going to get them done, right? 
so I'm not stressing there. So there's a total of 60 tokens between moments and collections, so how do you earn the others? Again, you don't necessarily have to do the collections, or actually you do, because these are not repeatable. So I'm going to take uh, the last half a minute that I spoke here and rewind and retract what I said. These are not repeatable missions. I thought maybe they were, but they are not. So you do have to complete everything in here. The collections is 30. The moment, sorry, I keep backing out, is another 30. That's going to get you to 60. And then the missions, there are eight total here. They all award or reward five tokens, which would be the other 40 that you need. 30 plus 30 plus 40 is 100. And basically what you're going to do is just load up your team with all-star series players, okay? So we got total bases, we got hits, we got extra base hits, we got strikeouts, and then also you got home run derby series players. So... Same thing, total bases, hits, home runs, and extra base hits, not strikeouts, because there's no pitchers in the home run derby series, okay? So once you complete all of these, I mean, the best thing to do, right, is either go into a nine-inning game against the Orioles, against the Pirates, put it on rookie, farm the hell out of the stats. But if you're still grinding, right, and you're still grinding on Team Affinity like I am, I'm kind of going to I'm going to be able to go towards these all these statistical missions that we need while still knocking out plate attempts for some of the other divisions I don't have in Team Affinity. So this came at a perfect time. I feel a little bad for all the people that grind and finish Team Affinity already because, you know, yes, they got 60% of this done already, but now people like me who are a little bit behind, we get to double dip a little bit and start knocking out these things while we're still grinding out Team Affinity plate attempts and, and all of the other statistical missions uh, that come along with it. But this is a huge, huge W. I'm happy that they did this. It's really good free content. Uh, you don't need to get the Cespedes card from the current event that was going on. Actually, did it refresh? I think it may have refreshed. So I actually kind of forgot about this. Uh, the current event, the Moonshot event is over, and now we have National League pitchers and in infield against American or no these are the rules you can only have National League pitchers and infield players and American League outfielders or any all-star players so um this is really good because you can load up all of these event players or all of these players that go into the event and you're going to be able to knock out plate attempts the online plate attempts plus all of these statistical missions that you need for the brand new player program three inning games with quick counts I don't really like that difficulty all-star and these wins go towards your cumulative number of wins. So if you played Moonshot, I only got 11 wins during Moonshot, didn't play it a ton, played it for like two days. Uh, it's still going to go towards the Cespedes and all of these other cards. Also, it says Split Squad 1. This one ends on July 22nd, which is seven days away. I'm guessing uh, seven days from now, it's going to be split, split Squad 2, and it'll give you different rules. But at the end of the day, those are still going to count towards these 100 wins. So you can technically be grinding for like three things at once. This program or this event, I should say, the player program and team affinity all at once. You can also load into a nine inning game, like I said earlier, play against the Ra uh, the Ravens, the, the Baltimore Orioles, and just farm stats. Or you can do what I'm more than likely going to do, and I'm going to continue to play Conquest because Conquest is the same as playing the Orioles, but you're working towards other rewards here. Uh, you're PXPing your players up. You're knocking out all those at-bats, all those statistical missions, and at the end of the day, you get some nice rewards with Conquest. Five prospect packs or five prospect players, five cards per pack, six packs in total every time you complete an entire division stronghold. And those cards still sell for three, four, five thousand stubs, which is pretty good in my opinion. 20, 25k per division. You can make a lot of stubs while playing it. So lots of different options there, but at the end of the day, a really, really good free card. And I mean, you got to go knock it out at this point, right? If you don't, you're just playing yourself. Great content from Diamond Dynasty today. Go grind. Good luck. Thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.